All right, what is up today, guys? It's TM Bailey, uh, back with another video. It's been a long time, it's been since the uh, gaming video, but just wanted to talk about a, a new rod that I got, rod and reel. Uh, this is my spinner bait setup. It is a, I'm pretty sure, it's a 6'8 medium power extra fast. It's a St. Croix. Um, it's a Mojo Bass rod, IPC, whatever, you know. And then it's paired with a Shimano Sitica 7 2 to 1 gear ratio. And this is the smoothest reel I've ever seen in my life. I don't know like what what they do at Shimano or how they make the reels as smooth as they do, but I've got the Curado, which you all know um, it's the older style. This is a newer generation of Shimano. They're shaped different, they perform differently, and they perform um, 10 times better, you know. But um, I'm actually going to talk about this spinnerbait too in this video. Um, this had a trailer hook on it, had a longer skirt. I trimmed the skirt, um, threw a Kitek on it, which actually needs to be straightened up, but we're not going to worry about that. So it has a single gold willow leaf and then the single, um, the smaller Colorado blade, and uh, it's a silver. It's a wheel on Colorado. It's, it is uh, chartreuse and white. Spring gullers, uh, the shad spawn, I'm not sure if it's completely done yet, but early in the mornings, if you'll go and throw this exact same spinner bait, and I can tell you by experience, you will catch fish and you will catch numbers. Probably not size, um, that's what the kite takes for, size, but um, you're, you're probably not gonna catch your size in the mornings if you'll wait like almost to dark, excuse me, but if you'll wait almost to dark, Go throw this around creeks where creeks run into the lake, and where my lake is, it actually was a river at first, and then it was flooded by TWRA. So it's kind of like a reservoir, but um, there are still creeks that run in. And um, if you'll go there and throw crawdads, etc., you know, anything that has to do with a creek, you know, uh, bait fish, this right here is the key. But um, this is actually my confidence bait, and this is my favorite bait to throw, like down, hands down. But um, with the high gear ratio, you can keep it above the grass that fills Norris Lake and um, the surrounding lakes too because in Tennessee there is a lot of grass and moss and stuff like that and I apologize for the cluttered kitchen. Um, we actually are still in the process of remodeling this house. Um, house was pretty crusty when we first started. The living room was pink. Um, my room was like hot orange. Uh, mom's room was purple and then the bathroom was blue and this in here was yellow and we put completely new walls up and but that's that's besides the point and also we got kind of a um, sneak peek that y'all have never seen before here i've never done a video um, never done a video on this right here 1990 pro craft um 40 pound thrust motor guide Pretty sure it's like a 16 or a 17 foot. You've got the Mercury Black Max 175. It's about a flat move. Um, and then you know you've got the you got your power trim, which is kind of cold right below where it goes. But um, you got your compartments back here. I'll actually well we can go ahead and do this video. We can kind of make two in this video right here. But um, let's not get our head electrocuted. This is where I store my life jackets. Um, this is a dry well. You can actually throw a pump in there and make it a live well. But you know, it's kind of pointless. This right here is terminal tackle, stuff like that. You know, it's plastics. It's where I like to put my plastics. Um, you know, batteries. And then the deck, and the seat's broke. Forgot to say that. But um, it's got the old hummingbird fish finder, old. Forgot to put my tarp on it. It um, I actually like this a lot. I like this boat a whole lot, actually. That's not good. The light up there isn't working. That's not good at all. But Procraft, you know, it's got plenty of room up up here on the deck after I built this. Um actually painted it too so it wouldn't look as bad but i'm actually going to be making a uh, pull-up compartment with the hydraulic things to keep it um to keep it up 
while messing around. I'm actually gonna line it with places to put tackle boxes and then you got your other live well up here, which I don't use. I'm actually getting ready to shut that completely off, you know. A trolling motor. This right here isn't working, so that's not good. But um you've got your uh I don't have a fish finder up here yet. I'm working on that, saving up for one, but that's just it's not the nicest thing in the world by any means you know you got your rod box right here um extra cooler it's got a cooler right here that's where my anchor is and you got another cooler right here you know and this actually had two other windshields on it and uh, i'll actually have him throw in the picture when he edits this but it had two windshields jeremiah you know jeremiah if you know caleb and us Jeremiah's dad and me were fishing. Um, this one, my passenger side got broke first. Riley Thompson's dad broke that. <laughs> and then the other one, Jeremiah's dad fell on and broke. And then that's when I got the idea to build this. And it gives me a lot more room to step around on and move around. So, but anyways, it's really the boat in all. I need to straighten that up. That's bothering me. If that's not straight. But, um, it's got your compartment back here too, which will open because my cooler's here and I don't feel like moving it. It's got the hot foot. Um, this is actually a pretty nice boat. It just needs a little bit of work, but we're gonna get it looking good. Hopefully get it fixed. The carburetors do not like me. It's a cold natured motor. It runs fine in cold weather, but when it gets hot, it does not like to do its thing at all. So um, I never showed you all the live well either. This is my foot at the bottom of the live well. It is a giant live well. We've actually had like 10 fish in there at one time. <laughs> but it they weren't they weren't too happy that we had 10 of them in there. But see I'm I'm a little I'm a little chub. So I actually am pretty short. I'm like five two, I'm like five one, five two, something like that. So, no, I'm just kidding. I'm like five ten, I think. But I spray painted this. It looked like shit. And then we, all right, I spray painted it. Um, that's really about it. A bunch of tackle laying on the floor and stuff, but we're not gonna worry about that. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, can't really find anything else to talk about. It's just the boat. But this right here has to be wet sanded, um, to be wet sanded, buffed, and I'm not sure what else actually, but we're going to get that fixed. We're going to get the boat looking good again. Like it used to be back in its days. But um, anyways, I'm going to end the video right here. Thank you for watching. Um, I know this video is all over the place, but um, I really want to thank you for uh, watching this video. Go subscribe to Caleb No. Um, Tyler McAnally, uh, Andrew Smith, everybody in our little friend group, you know. But anyway, thank you for watching, and we'll see you later.